I um, was about 12 years old, and I listened to Al Shepard's suborbital launch. Okay. And I can remember sitting there with the, all my fellow students. We were at school with a transistor radio. All of us crowded around our PE teacher, and I listened to that launch. And at that moment, I said, I want to do that someday. Yeah. But I didn't think it was a realistic goal. Yeah. Why not? Because there were no uh, women test pilots and all the astronauts at that point with the Mercury 7, the test pilots. And so I just hoped that someday maybe things would change and was lucky enough that things did. Yeah. What do you think changed? Why, why do you think it, it, made you, it enabled you to become an astronaut? Eventually. Well, I think I was at the cusp of society really changing. Um, when I went to medical school, there were very few women in the senior class when I was selected as a freshman. And you could just see in that period of time, uh, from 72 to when I graduated in 76, that the number of women in medicine had changed. And I think it was just that whole era where the doors were opening for women. And um, I describe it as I felt like I was riding a wave, and I just caught the wave at the right time. And uh, NASA had decided to accept women that, that, and um, went out of their way to recruit women. So I was just very, very fortunate. Right. And you were one of the first group of women to be recruited to go into space. Right? I was in the first group of women selected by NASA yeah. for the space shuttle program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So reflecting back on your career and, and the way you um, uh, were able to uh, make such an amazing career for yourself, what kind of advice would you give to young women, to girls? Um, about um, what they need to do um, in school or how they should approach life? Well, the, the number one thing, I mean, not everybody wants to go into space. I mean, I always tell young women to go into st STEM field, you know, math, science, technology, engineering, but uh, whatever it is that you want to do, follow your dream and be persistent. I mean, I have colleagues in the space program who applied seven times before they got selected. I think if I hadn't got, had not been selected the first time, it might not have even occurred to me to apply again. So if you have a dream, follow that dream and don't give up. Mm -hmm. And just work very hard.